Yo, what is up, everybody? My name is Alex. Welcome back to the video. And today, I just wanted to talk a little bit about Apex Legends. So, as you all know, for a long time now, I've been playing Apex Legends. I've played it a lot. I have over 8,000 kills now. And there is a problem with the game that is starting to, starting to show up. That being matchmaking. I know I've talked about it a lot in the past, and I have talked about it a lot. But something needs to be done because it's starting to become a serious issue. I am not amazing at the game. By no means am I that good. I only have a 3% win rate. I have played 6,712 games in Apex Legends since it came out. Which is, you know, a lot. That's a lot of matches. Just about, just under 7,000 matches. I have only won 3.03% .03 of those games. 204 wins. Now, that in itself is good. That's a really high win rate. But when I'm getting matched against people who have thousands and thousands of wins and less games than I do. Or, you know, let's say TTV Wraith, 8,000 matches played, 2,000 wins. She has no fucking purpose being in my lobby. And then on top of that, there's also the fact that I have 8,000 kills. Just just under 7,000 matches played, 8,000 kills. That's really good. I have a kill-death ratio of 1.18. That's pretty fucking good. That's above average. Well above average, actually. I believe the average right now is like 0.5. It's not good. But that is taking all players into account. My absolute highest rank I've ever been in Apex Legends was Plat 3. And I've been there one time ever. I should not be getting Predator players, Master players, and Diamonds in my casual lobbies. That shouldn't be a fucking thing. I have video proof. I have video proof on the channel and uh, 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 dozens of other places, if I can find the fucking clips on my computer, where I am playing casual with some friends. It's me, a low plat high gold player. My buddy Jacob, who's like high silver, low gold, and then Zer, who's medi who's like middle silver. The three of us playing trios. We have been matched up against a three stack of Preds with, you know, 28,000 kills. Hundreds of thousands of kills and matches played among the three of them. Fucking like, you know, I believe the highest we ever saw was 25,000 wins on one person. I have been matched up against the number one fuse in the world. I shouldn't be getting players like that in my lobbies. I simply should not be getting players like that in my lobbies. Now, we can all agree Apex matchmaking is becoming a problem. It has been a problem for a while. It's not going to be getting any better. At least not anytime soon. And you're probably thinking, oh, you're just you're just gonna scream about it until they do something and they're you already know they're not gonna fucking do much. So why am I here? Why am I sitting right here in front of you screaming about the matchmaking in this game? It's because I have a solution. I have a solution to the skill based matchmaking problem in any game ever made. And it's pretty simple. If anyone at Respawn or anyone making a game sees this, take my advice. Your player base will love you for it. The way you fix your matchmaking is you create a point average per player. That sounds pretty simple. On paper, that is a simple concept. Create a point average, take you know the average stats of a person, and match them in that level. No one has done it well, except for Dota. Dota 2 is the only game I've ever seen that actually did skill-based matchmaking well. 
and that's long before problems of skill-based matchmaking started ringing their fucking heads. The way that Dota 2 did their matchmaking is they would take all of the stats in your account. Kills, deaths, wins, damage, and, and specifically for Apex Legends. Kills, wins, matches played, uh, deaths, damage dealt, all of your stats, all of them laid out and given a point average. So let's say for every kill you have on your account, you get two points. For every death, you take away one point. And then for all of the damage, let's say for every 200 damage, you add one point. For every match played, you, you divide your, that point total against your matches played. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do that right now. One second. Alright, so I just quickly wrote down all my stats. I have my kills, my deaths, my wins, and my damage. And then my matches played. So... First, multiply multiply your kills by 2. So, 8, 0, 8, 9 times 2. 16,178. 1, 6, 1, 6, 1, 7, 8. Now, subtract your deaths, which would, in my case, would be 6,808. That gives us... 9,370. Now, the wins is where it kind of gets hard. I'm thinking just uh, multiply wins by 2, add that. So I'm going to do that. So then it would be... Fuck, move that there. Move that over there. Perfect. So, close that. Uh, 2, 0, 4, times 2. So then... 408 plus 9370 equals 9778. So then I'll write that down. 9778. So then 2462923. We're going to divide that by 200. 12,314 points. Yeah. As you know, it would be 15 points because it's point six. So then, one, two, three, one, five. Now you take nine, seven, seven, eight, plus one, two, th three, one, five. Equals 22,093. Now you divide that. Wait. Right, divide that by what, 6, 7, 1, 2. I did that wrong. I, I did this wrong. <laughs> Alright, but even then. All of that in that order. I am left with a point total of 3.2. Actually, it's almost pi. Huh. So, same general concept. You do a bunch of math with all your stats. And then you take people similar skill level. So, my, my total after all of that was 3.2. Nine one. We'll just We'll do that. So, now anyone within... One of me, which means anyone between the levels of two point two nine one and four point two nine one would be in my matches. That seems like a lot, right? But after all of the math I did, I'm left with three point two. So anyone with two point two nine one to four point two nine one would be in my matches. You're limiting based on numbers. It's math. It's the simple shit. Even if you don't do the math the same way that I did, because you probably won't, because it was fucking stupid. <laughs> That's the general idea. You take a you take all the stats and you create a point average. And you give that point average to that player 
and you match them with people within a certain range. Let's say I had a let's say my point total was 14,000. If my point total is 14,000, they're just fucking high. How many people are playing the game? About 100 million, right? That's a lot of fucking players. So anyone with let's say 12,000 to 16,000 could be in my lobbies. Anyone above 16,000, no. Anyone under 12,000, no. Only people within a certain threshold of my level would be in my matches. That's how you fix the matchmaking. I don't want to be going into matches and get 22,000 players. Or players with a point total of 22,000. And I don't want to be going against people with a point total of 100,000. Because there's some cunt out there that fucking exists. There, there just has to be at this point. I guarantee you right now, if I were to go into a match, I would get a Pred or a Master on the Champion Squad. Fucking guarantee it. It's ludicrous. You can't, you can't even call it well-made because it's not. You can't compliment Respawn for this one thing because they didn't do it well. And I don't think Respawn is to blame. Respawn is a developer that I put a lot of faith into. I trust and I love the company. They have made some of my favorite games ever, namely Titanfall 2. The matchmaking in Titanfall 2 was superb because they did it well. There is no matchmaking in EA games. It's, here's a match. Play it. There's no, well, here are your stats, here are their stats. It's kind of the average, let's do it. No, it with EA games, it's here's a here's a lobby with an open slot. Get in there. Oh, you have two kills in your account, and he has a billion. Get fucked. It's the same problem that Destiny had to deal with. It's the same problem that Call of Duty's had to deal with. And I can't believe it's taken this long for someone to figure it fucking out. Someone did years ago, and still no one knows what they're fucking doing. I have a final note. To anyone who watches this video, if you are making a game with matchmaking, put some thought into the matchmaking system. It is the core of your game. That's not true. The core of the game is the gameplay. But if you're going to be having online matches, you need matchmaking, and it needs to work. On that note... I don't know what I'm doing. I'm an idiot. I play video games too much. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm doing. And there's no possible logic behind what I say half the time. You can do what you see fits. This is simply what I think works best for the game. And if you agree, if there's anyone out there who agrees with what I'm saying right now, if you agree that this is how the matchmaking system should work, make a point average for the player and give them a threshold, then please retweet this video, like this video, leave a comment, interact with the video, get it out there. If we can get this on trending, people are going to see it and they're going to send it to Respawn and Respawn will do something. It's all about what the community gets to do, or gets them to do. Please, share this message. If you want Apex to continue to live on for years to come like I do, if you trust the developers behind this game like I do, share this video. Send it to your aunt on Facebook, for all I care. Get it out there. This is a message for anyone who needs it. Make the matchmaking system work. And don't just smash it together. Don't be Call of Duty. Be Titanfall.